Welcome to TBNK Sports presentation of the Kentucky Enforcers Semi-Pro Basketball for the campus of Thomas More University. We are here to see the Kentucky Enforcers take on the Western Michigan Lakehawks as they are playing in their third game of the season. Right now the Kentucky Enforcers are sitting at 2-0 with Western Michigan sitting in third place in the Midwest Division at 1-1. Tonight, they're looking to judge for another spot and either staying undefeated for the Kentucky Enforcers or the Western Michigan Lakehawks are looking to move up and try to catch the Kentucky Enforcers and be in 2-1 in a tie for first place in the Midwest Division. Also, the Kentucky Enforcers would like to thank their corporate sponsors, Smoking This and That Barbecue for their support of the semi-basketball and local community television. We are getting set here for tip-off and we'll have more for you.
we are getting set for a tip off. The teams are getting the last minute words in before they take center court for tip off. Once again, welcome to TBK Sports presentation of the Kentucky Enforcer Semi Pro Basketball Team from the campus of the Thomas More University. The Kentucky Enforcers would like to thank their corporate sponsors, Smoking This and That Barbecue, for their support of the Semi Pro Basketball local community and television. Tonight, the Kentucky Enforcers sitting at 2 0 is taking on Western Michigan, a 1 and 1 team, the Lakehawks. Teams are set for the tip off. And the forces have control of the tip off. They bring it up in the court. Gibbs is setting up the play. He passes it off to Cameron. Cameron's looking to work it down towards the center. Passes it to the corner. A corner three is up. And it's good. And Western Michigan is bringing it up to the corner. He shoots the corner three. It is off. Offensive rebound with a foul. And one. Referees are saying it was before the shot. Inside, he misses the air ball. And forces bring it up in full tempo. 22. He brings it off. He gets the offensive rebound. He sets it back out. Cameron gets it. He brings it inside. And he gets it in. Kentucky and forces are up 5 to nothing. Shoots the three, he misses up, then forces catch the rebound. He's bringing it up, passes over to the corner. He brings it inside, passes it out to Gibbs. Gibbs sends it into the center, lifts it open, takes it inside for the drive. Off and a defensive rebound. Western Michigan brings it up. He shoots the three, it's off. Gibbs gets the rebound. He brings us up. <laughs> he tries to go behind the back, but loses control. And they pass it inside for the easy layup. Oh, that's a foul. Reach in foul on number two is Xavier. Xavier Fletcher called for reaching in. Troy Gibbs pushes it in to Greg Williams. Greg Williams is bringing it over to the corner. He rolls it over to Cameron. Cameron shoots the three, and it's good. Cameron Mitchell with another three. Western Michigan brings up Mason's man jump and gets the pump fake in for the layup. Gibbs passes it up to Cameron Mitchell. Cameron Mitchell sizes his man up, shoots another three, and it bounces in and out. They go for the rebound. Western Michigan sets their play up. Passes it inside for the easy layup. Troy Gibbs passes it up. He shoots the three. And it is good, another three. Oh, he passes the ball out. Almost stolen by Troy Gett. He brings it up.
And Cameron Mitchell draws the charging foul onto Xavier. Xavier Fletcher. Xavier Fletcher has two fouls already, so they have to bring in number 17, Anthony Brown. Another three to Greg Williams. Demetrius Lakes bringing the ball up, calling the play. He passes it to number seven, Otis Smith. Otis Smith presses the inside. He hits the missed shot. Troy Gibbs brings it up. Cameron gets the ball in the corner. He brings it inside. He draws the foul and misses the shot. A foul on the Western Michigan Lake Hawks. Cameron Mitchell with the slice inside and another layup. They set the play, the double screen up top. He takes it inside and he is blocked. And a foul called. Foul was caught on Cameron Mitchell. That's his first personal foul. Oh, the Smith makes the first free throw. Shoots the second and makes it. Score is now 16 to eight. Cameron Mitchell versus Falls off the spring. Gets inside, fouled, and one. Foul was on West Michigan, Otis Smith. Cameron Mitchell makes a free throw. They're running a 2-2-1 zone. Full court press on there. They break it. He shoots the corner three. Eric hits the top of the corner. And another foul was called. Called on Anthony Brown, number 17, his first personal foul. Troy Gibbs brings it up, gets the play, calls it. They run in motion. Cameron Williams is defensive rebound, number 40. They run a full court press. Had a man trap. Anthony Brown gets the ball, he passes it over. To Demetrius Lake, Demetrius Lake passes it out to, and the three-point shot missed. Troy Gibb passes it in to Cameron Brown, he misses the layup. Number 17, Anthony Brown spots up for the open three, and he makes it. And the duck inside. Kentucky is running the full court press on it again. Anthony Brown spots his three again, and he misses it. Offensive rebound, another three, and they brace it. Tapped outside by West Michigan.
And West Michigan brings it up. Troy gives, presses the prey. He gets his own miss. He is blocked on the layup attempt. They inbound it, and the layup is missed. He tips it back up, he misses again. He pushes it up, 22, takes the shot, and one. Demetrius Lake makes the and one shot. Foul on number four, Cameron Moore. He makes the free throw. Passes it out. Darius Hubbard brings it up. He passes the ball in the turn. He gets the turnover back. And he goes for the layup and made it. And he passes it up. Open shot. No, he doesn't take. He passes it out. He pours it in, draws the foul, and walks. And we're going to take a media timeout. Media timeout. And we are back to TBNK Sports presentation of the Kentucky Enforcers to my pro basketball team. Troy Gibbs brings it up, sets the pick at the top of the key. Looking for the pick and roll, couldn't find it. Finds the corner three and it's an air ball. And it looks like it's going to be out and it will be West Michigan's Xavier. Is bringing it up. Oh, calls the block. Foul on number Darius Hubbard. Xavier Hubbard's playing on. Almost had to turn over. He loses his handle and goes out of bounds. Troy Gibbs passes it up. He looks for somebody that's open. And number four goes for the layup. He couldn't get it. A foul on number two, Xavier Fletcher. His number three foul. Cameron gets the ball. Open three for Troy Gibbs. He makes it out. Oh, offensive rebound. He shoots the open jumper. He makes the shot. Troy Gibbs gets the rebound. He takes it back up strong and makes the rebound. Oh it looks like it was touched out of bounds by number 10, Rod Avery. Troy Gibbs putting pressure on him. And it's called for a walk. Yeah. 
Troy Gibbs passing it up. And he tries to get some steal. And he turns it over. Pass over to Anthony Brown. He crosses into the middle. He passes out to the corner. And he shoots it up and almost makes it. And it comes out. Kentucky is on the push. Passes it over to Cameron. He goes inside. He is hit and misses the shot. He's set for two free throws. And in the first quarter, the West of Michigan is now going to be in foul trouble with seven fouls, with Kentucky having four fouls. Cameron makes the first free throw. Cameron Mitchell takes over the second shot. He makes the second free throw. The score is 27 to 14. Kentucky Enforcers draw another offensive foul. Kentucky spots it up. Cameron draws it in, up and under, and he makes another shot. Anthony Brown puts it in, he is caught with a kickball. And Cameron gets the skill. And a dunk. And Western Michigan pushes up after the celebration. He catches it out of bounds. Cameron is bringing it up. Cameron Mitchell crosses his man over, takes it inside, passes out to the corner three, and makes it. And the shot, and he almost blocks it. Called a traveler. He's arguing the call, doesn't believe he traveled. Anthony Brown brings it up, crosses over to the corner. Number seven, Otis Smith makes the layup off the offensive rebound. And it would count as an and one. Four on the shot, and he makes the layup. Cameron Moore. Uh, Kickball. And the uh, corner is six seconds left. He shoots the three and makes it. <laughs> And that is the end of the first quarter with the score of the Kentucky Enforcers winning 34, the West Michigan Lake Hawks 21.
And once again, the Kentucky Enforcers would like to thank their corporate sponsor, Smokiness in That Barbecue, for the support of the semi-pro basketball and local community television. Started the second quarter. The Kentucky Enforcers are looking to run away with this lead that they have. Right now it's 36 to 21. Cameron Mitchell is the leading scorer right now. The West Michigan Layhawks are looking to inbound. Passes it over to Cameron Anthony Brown. Anthony Brown brings it up. He shoots the long three. It rattles in and out, and a box out foul. Caught on number Cameron Moore. And they under under the basket. It is not out of bounds by number. Rod Avery inbounds it to so number 13, Gray Wynn. He brings it up to the court. Pressure being applied by Anthony Brown. Anthony, they run the switch. He takes it into the center. He goes up and under and gets his own rebound. He makes the shot. Anthony Brown's calling this place. He presses it over on the switch. And they go for the rebound. Oh, he loses the ball on the fall. Dives for it. Dives and it gets the ball and they turn. The forces bring it up on a quick. He crosses his man over. He brings it on the layup. He misses it. Tries to get it on the dunk and misses it again. Anthony Brown almost travels. Fakes the pass and 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 it rolls out. Demetrius Lake will be shooting his free throw. Terrence William called on the Terrence Briggs called on the second foul. Number 22 for Kentucky, Rob, Rob Smythe comes back into the game. And Demetrius makes his second free throw. Kentucky forces bring it up. He's looking for a movement in the middle. And he is called for the travel. And I know it's almost stolen. They bring it up. West Michigan tries to go to the center, almost loses the ball. He passes it over. And a foul is called. Terry Walker Jr. called on his first personal foul. Kentucky brings the foul. They call the play. They hand it off. He does the switch over to the corner. He shoots, and he is fouled from behind. Rod Avery is fouled from behind. He will be shooting two free throws. Sub coming in. He makes the second free throw. West Michigan inbounds the pass. They run the trap, corner trap. 
And he has a wide open lane to the lane, and he is foul hard. Foul on Darius Hubbard, his second personal foul. Demetrius Lake sitting at the free throw. He makes his first free throw. And he makes the second free throw. Number 13 is bringing it up the court. He passes it inside to number two. He bodies his man back, and he misses the free, and he puts it on the put back. They're running full court pressure. Almost with the trap in the corner. And back door pass was packed, and it was not the way. He takes it inside. Hubbard is fouled again. Foul on number the three. One thing I've noticed with the Westminster, they're in foul trouble earlier, and the coach has got to be looking and saying what he's got to do to get his guys out of fouling and playing harder on this game. First free throw is made by Darius Hubbard. And the second free throw is made. Once again, Kentucky is running a full court press. 4-1 corner with the turnover. And he gets the ball. He passes it inside. And a layup is made. And one. <laughs> Call on number seven, Otis Smith. Tyron Bradshaw is now entering in the game for number two, Darius Hubbard. And he misses the free throw. Once again, they're in the full court pressure with the trap. And they get it over in time. He takes it in, passes out. He shoots and makes the shot. And he passes it in and draws the foul. Fouls on number three, Marquise Brewer. With the inbound, shoots the three and misses it. Gets the offensive rebound, passes it, and he's body. Number 40, Terry Walker Jr. Rod Avery sets up for his first free throw. And he makes it. Sets up for a second free throw. Makes it. Oh, Kentucky's back into the full court press again. They're looking to try to get it over. And he gets across. He does the crossover, he goes inside, and he makes the layup. They get it inside, he backs it down, he turns around jumper, he misses it. 
football was out on Kentucky. They run the trap again. And he gets it over. Almost not the way. Oh, this pass is in inside. He's trying to get open. He's holding the ball. He turns around his jump and makes the shot with the M1. Otis Smith with the turnaround jumper and makes the shot. And he makes air balls on the free throw. And one opportunity, and he didn't take it. Kentucky brings it up. A pick is set at the top of key. He passes out, and the shot for the three. He didn't make it, and he gets the offensive rebound. He takes the three, and he didn't make it. Off defensive rebound, he passes up. Oh, too far for his guy. And Kentucky gets the ball back, runs it up. <laughs> Tries to go behind the back. Wide open lane for the dunk. Number 22, Rob Smythe for the dunk. He passes it out to Otis Smith, and he misses the corner three. The defensive rebound to his Gibson. His Troy Gibbs is bringing it up. He passes it inside, back out to the corner to Smythe. Smythe takes it in for the layup. They're running the trap again. Open three. He misses the shot. Gibbs brings it up to the top. He fights his man off. Fires Cameron in the corner. Cameron steps up for the shot, and he makes it. Cameron Mitchell with the shot. West Michigan brings it up. Sets up the play. Runs the switch, wide open lane. And he misses the open layup. Gibbs gets the rebound, looks to push it up. Has help on the side. He passes over to Blythe. Blythe draws the foul on the ground. Call for the blocking. Free throw is missed by Bly. He gets the rebound, and he goes back up and gets fouled. Aaron McDaniel called for the foul on Gibbs. The score is 54 points for the Kentucky Enforcers, 31 by the visiting West Michigan Lake Hawks. Gibbs misses his first free throw. Gibbs sets up for his second free throw. And makes it. They run the And Arian spots up for the three-pointer and makes it. Gibbs brings it back up. He passes it out to Cameron. Cameron spots up for the three and misses it. They bring it back up. They're looking to make a run here. 
He misses the three. Open is up. And it was a long pass out of bounds. We are back for the media timeout with the Western Michigan Lakehawks down 34. And Kentucky Enforcers has 55 points. West Michigan is bringing it up. Number 17, Anthony Brown has the ball. He passes it over to number 22. Number 22 is looking for somebody to get open. He can't find anybody. He does a lot of crosses, and he air balls the shot. Cameron Williams has the ball, or Cameron Mitchell, I'm sorry, gets the ball. He loses it on the inside. Aaron Smith tries to go in, and Cameron Mitchell is called for the reach in. And the shot is missed. Kentucky gets the rebound. He loses the ball. Caught on Gibbs for using two hands. Pitcher for the illegal screen. Gibbs gets the rebound. He looks for a man that's wide open. Cameron gets it. Corey gets the pass. He passes over to the corner to Cameron Missile. Cameron Missile misses the three. Gibbs gets the shot. They wrestle for the ball underneath. Referee's trying to keep the game intact. They don't want it to get on their hand. Before he looks to inbound, he passes over to Gibbs. Gibbs brings it into the middle. He misses the shot. 
He passes it out to Ant Anthony. Oh. He passes it up to Cameron Williams. Cameron Williams spots it up. Thinks about the shot and then passes it. <laughs> Cameron Mitchell called for the charge. Xavier does the in and out and makes the shot. Corey brings it up. Hands it off to Cameron Williams. Cameron Williams takes a three. It goes in and out. Passes over to Anthony. Anthony passes out. He shoots the three and makes it. Gibbs passes over to Cameron Williams. Cameron Williams brings it up. He's looking to spot up for the shot. He loses the ball. He passes it up to Xavier Fletcher. Xavier Fletcher passes it out to Arian. Arian shoots the three and he misses. A timeout is called by the Kentucky Enforcers. Thirty-second timeout is called. Kentucky brings it up. He shoots up for the three. It's short. Tip out, tip up again, tip again. Passes it up. West Michigan's on the run. He goes the crossover, he takes it in, and it is foul. Marquise Brewer is setting up for his free throw. He misses the first free throw. It rattles in. Corey brings it up. Goes over. Pass it over to Gibbs. He passes it over. He takes it in. Passes back out to Ford. Ford thinks about the shot. Ford goes up and makes the shot. Passes out to Xavier Fletcher. He goes in and misses the layup. Tapped out and Xavier makes the shot. A big streak. He passes out. He shoots the three and makes the three. A timeout is called by West Michigan. Thirty-second timeout is being called.
first one was a media timeout. Yeah, that first one, so we should have four. <laughs> 15 seconds left in the game, and it's till halftime. Three seconds left in the game. They forced the turnover. He puts up the prayer and almost makes it. And that is halftime, ladies and gentlemen. The Kentucky Enforcers are up 60. The West Michigan, 42 points.